first video on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> um, so, first off, I want to start out by saying, um, none of this is fake, real content. Um, uh, I live in a haunted house. <laughs> That's all you can say. Um, first off, I want to start by saying that, um, I'm not going to say my name, because there's a lot of creeps. Um, there could actually be someone sitting outside, like, just right outside that door. And there's a, over there, creepy kitchen. Creepy kitchen. Not that fun. Not that fun. Um, so, uh, I just want to start out by saying that I don't live in a big house. It's usually big houses that are haunted, like, with two stores and stuff. Nope, I live only under one roof. But, um, um, uh, so, try not to make this awkward, but, um, so, sorry, I've been dealing with some really weird crap here lately, like we're banging on walls, doors shutting, hearing my front door open, here, no, never again. Then hearing it slam again, um, like, first second it opens, then bam, it slams. I, I've never been wanting to tell my mom because she might not believe me because she doesn't believe in ghosts. Well, she kind of does, but, I mean, we watch Ghost Adventures and stuff like that, but, um, so... I want to find out more about this place, and, like, I kind of want to ask the landlord, like, if something, something's happening. To, like, did something go down here? Or did, like, I don't know. Um, but, yeah. I've had a lot of history with ghosts and stuff. Um, sorry if this is kind of boring for you guys, but, um, I've had a lot of history with ghosts. Like, when I was, like, about two years old, my mom would tell me that, um, there was, like, that I had an old man and an old woman that would be in my room, but they weren't actually there. Like, my mother wouldn't see her, see them, nor would my sister, but, um, I would see them. Um, I was the only one in my family who ever had any history with ghosts, and I'm starting to think that these ghosts are going to follow me everywhere I go. I'm not too fond of that, um, but... Yeah, I kind of live in a ghost town neighborhood, but, um, yeah, and I've been seeing weird figures pop up here and there, and, like, right now I'm way too scared to even step near my room right now. Like, I've just been sitting out here for, like, ten minutes now, and I don't even want to step foot in my room, because, like, every time I step foot in my room, even when I, like, come back home from school... I get weird feelings about this place, and they're not good feelings. Um, like, I have a feeling that something went down here. Is that a train? You guys heard that, right? Trains don't run through our town. Maybe it was just a car, but not many cars come down here either. Okay, so, anyways, about my ghost story. Um. Uh. I don't know where to go with this. Oh crap, now it's suddenly silent. Um. Usually I don't get this kind of activity when I'm filming. But, um, so. I live in a, excuse me, that was very unlea like I just burned, I'm sorry. But I don't really live, like, in nice homes. I mean, like, I live in, like, this area. Like, that curtain right there, that's a dining area. That's a storage area now, but my mom made that a dining area. And over there... That's my kitchen. Did you hear 
Okay, I'm hearing noises I'm not too fond of, but, um, that doesn't work well for me. I'm hearing banging noises. <laughs> okay, that's not fun. Some more things are going on in this house. I don't know, like. So, one time when I was living in a two story house, um, it was haunted, and we found out that there was actually a murder that went down there. The wife. Um, went crazy and she mostly went crazy because the husband was abusing her and she killed the husband and she killed the three children that she had. One was five, one was seven, and one was ten. Um, and the most violent ghost was the woman. The woman would slam doors, whisper, and do all sorts of things. We would hear the voice of the husband telling us to get out of the house, and then the voice of the little kids laughing and playing. Eventually things would move around, especially when we're standing right there. Like, we have these plants. We had different plants. Sorry, my hand's shaky right now because I'm scared. Um... We would have plants like these, and like the pots would tip over. We'd hear thumping footsteps, like little kid thumping footsteps, like as if they're running around playing. And at one point when I was sleeping, I had a I had a really weird dream about something that went down. Like I was spectating an, a a young child watching her mother kill her husband. I had a feeling that I was like that seven-year-old kid. I don't really know what their names were. Uh, um, uh, I heard that like I heard stories about that place. Like the neighbors, we had neighbors. They were living there. They were like old people. They were living there ever since the murder happened. Like they heard the screaming of the little kids as they were getting mutilated by their mother. And they were like at least like teenagers when that happened. I heard that about that. Um, um so <sighs> not too fond of this place. Um yeah. Sorry, this has just been like <laughs> About eight minutes of me rambling about nothing but ghosts and stuff. But I heard that, um, once the wife was done murdering the three kids and the father, I heard that she killed herself by stabbing, slitting her throat. And, um, not too fond of this place. Like, I would randomly hear banging on the walls from the kitchen. And, uh, and that murder was not in this house. It was in the house that I lived in, like, a few, like, years ago. A few years ago. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm not really fond about this place. So, I know I keep saying that, but I really am not. There's way too many creepy photos seeing the eyes keep following you around. It's really creepy. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. Um, one time when I was in the bathroom, I left the door open and I saw a figure walking by. I was home alone then. 
I figured, oh, my mom's home. Look, I went out to the kitchen, looked around, no one was there. At that time, like, that curtain right there was my mom's bedroom, so I checked her bedroom. Nothing was there. Checked the living room. Nothing was there. So, I want to figure out the history of this place, and I want to find out what exactly is going on. So, thank you guys for tuning into this 10-minute video. I will talk to you guys uh, next episode. So, yeah. Bye.